One of the most talked about aspects of Stellar Blade is of course Eve's appearance, and the ways in which you can customize it. But it goes beyond just finding new outfits for her out in the world. So if you're looking for all the different ways to change Eve's look, from her hairstyle to her glasses, right down to the different types of earrings she can wear, here's everything you need to know. There are more than 30 different outfits that Eve can equip, but they must be first found, usually within tiny black boxes out in the world. Showing you where all these outfits are is a video for another time, but you should know that once you find an outfit, you must still unlock it with crafting materials before you're able to equip it. To do this, you'll need to head to a large camp and interact with the repair console. Navigate over to your nano suits, and if you have enough polymers, you'll be able to unlock a suit. Polymers can be found all over the place, in chests, in breakable boxes, but if you ever find yourself in need of more quickly, you can always buy them with gold at Kaya's shop in Zion. You can change Eve's hairstyle and color as well, but first you'll need to do a quick side quest. Early on in the game, and shortly after visiting Zion, you should be able to find an NPC named Kasim right smack in the middle of town, in front of Gwen's hair salon. How dull. Talk to him, and you'll gain a quest that has you traveling to the wasteland to find basic barber tools. You'll find the scissors at the bottom of this junk pit. The dryer is in this fenced off trash heap, guarded by two robots. And the straightener is inside one of the boxes in this spot where there's a ton of boxes to break. Once you have all three, return to Kasim, and he'll let you change both your hairstyle and your hair color you'll once again have to spend polymers to change a hairstyle. The final two customizable elements of Eve's look are earrings and glasses. You can find a selection of earrings that can be purchased from Kaya once you increase her relationship level, which is done simply by buying stuff from her. You'll get new options at both level 2 and level 3 relationship levels. You can also find earrings out in the world in the same small chest that outfits are found in, but they're pretty rare. Glasses take a little bit more work. You'll need to unlock a special NPC named Digger, located in the scrapyard of the Wasteland, which is located in the northwestern part of the map, right here. When you first arrive there, he will be stuck under a bunch of cars. To free him, you'll need to activate three terminals in a specific order. First, you'll need to activate the ticker, which you can reach by heading left from the entrance to the scrapyard, moving the box to the wall, and then hopping along the handholds and swinging from the poles to reach the terminal. Next is the buzzer. Continue down the path to the left and push the box closer to the platform so you can hop up onto it. Then move the small cart onto the pressure plate to lower the gate, allowing you to move the next box closer to the platform above. Hop on the box so you can jump to the platform, and you'll be able to activate the terminal on the right. Finally is the clunker. Drop down and continue straight ahead where you'll see two carts and two pressure plates. Place the carts on the plates to open the gate, then push the box through and place it underneath the ladder so that you can hop up and jump to it. Activate the terminal at the top, and you're done. Once you do all of that, you'll rescue the robot, and he'll sell you a variety of glasses, with more that you can unlock by increasing your relationship score with him. And that covers all the different ways they can customize Eve in Stellar Blade. Thanks for watching, and for more Stellar Blade guides, check out our essential combat tips, along with our picks of the best skills to pick up first. And for everything else, Keep it here on IGN.